Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn and master how to use ng style directive. Using ng style, we can change the CSS properties of the element that we apply this directive to. It's a pretty cool uh, directive because if you end up in any real-time project or when you go to work in a, any Angular application, most likely you'll find yourself using this at least a couple of times in any real-time project. So this is extremely important and I will teach you all the different uh, ways of how you can use ng-style practically. Let's get started. This is part 22 of Angular 10 full tutorial playlist. Uh, I'm planning around 100 tutorials, including live uh, projects that I will start soon. Uh, the playlist link is in the description box below. The links to the tutorials are also in the description box. Uh, for notes, code, or any queries or doubts, feel free to reach out to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. All right. So, uh, so far we have covered around 21 tutorials and these are the topics on your screen right now which I have covered in detail so make sure that you check out the previous episode so that you have continuity in your learning. It's very important that you continue with the flow and I promise you that I will make you a master in Angular 10. Alright, so today we are focusing on ng style. Let's stick to that. Alright, so what is ng style? ng style is a directive that lets you set a given DOM element style properties. A lot of people get confused with that DOM element style property, so don't get confused. It's simple. We write style, right, in regular HTML if we have to do inline styling, right? This is exactly same. So this is Angular's implementation of inline styling. Now you can use any CSS property. You can pass any property. That doesn't matter, all right? Uh, we can pass dynamic values as well, right? Uh, which means that we can pass variables and we can write logic in terms of what style property to apply. A basic syntax is shown here. Uh, for example, ng style, it's in square bracket followed by the background color colon value, right? Um, so this is a, the theoretical explanation. Uh, do drop me uh, a note or email and let me know if you have any doubts. Let's get to hands-on. I will show you different ways of how actually you will use ng style in practical applications. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to make some quick notes for you. So this is episode number episode number 22. We are learning about ng style. So first thing, ng style is a built-in directive, right? It's a built-in directive used to set uh, style or CSS properties, whatever you want to call it. Right? Now, ng style is written in square brackets. So you'll write ng s capital rest all small. Right? That's how you write it. Um, and then next, you can apply any slash all CSS properties. Right? Um, using ng style. And then you can also use um, more than one property property on a DOM any DOM element on any DOM element right and <clears throat> so there are multiple ways that you can use ng style so I'll show you that implementation now uh, because this is often asked in interviews and a lot of people get confused whether what is right what is wrong right so uh, before I do that um, we can also pass dynamic values to ng style right so that's all uh, i think you should know about ng style now let's see how ng style works let's put that to hands on right hands on example <coughs> so first i'm going to show you a basic uh, use case of ng style uh, which is just setting value right setting a value using ng style that's the most basic uh, thing that you can do Right, so let's get started. So go to your app component and let me throw in uh, h3 here and say learning ng style. Right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a simple div square bracket ng style equal to. Now remember, this is where most people will make mistake, including you. Okay, I'm warning you right now. Okay. So this is this is where a lot of you will end up making mistake. That is, um, let me list down that common mistakes for you first. 
that I review so many code every day I can tell you some of the common examples and common mistakes that you will do not giving correct curly braces this is the topmost mistake that a lot of people a lot of people will do then again not uh, putting correct double slash single quotes where required right this is the second most mistake I have seen right that they don't properly close the braces and they run into issues they don't see it working correctly right so these are some of the common things that they will do then they will do spelling mistakes in defining right in defining the CSS properties right this is yet another uh, common mistake that I've seen so make sure that you follow what I'm doing slowly and don't make that mistake so now put double quotes start curly brace in the single brace type the property that you want to set the value then colon carefully watch where I'm putting the quotes where I'm putting the curly braces a lot of you will end up making this mistake so be careful about that this is green div right <clears throat> so I have a div I've used ng style and I'm setting a property background color green simple as simple as that right so if you had to write uh, this normal uh, HTML you would probably be writing like this right right you would be writing like this so this is angular implementation using ng style so you see some similarities right it's not exactly same but you can you can relate to it if you want to so back to this ng style in square bracket equal to double quotes curly brace start and then single quote property name colon value close it right once you do this then go to the application you are seeing the green div right you're seeing the green div here but it's not readable right so let's set one more property so this is an example I've chosen for you because I can show you then usage of multiple properties so now what I'm doing is I'm setting multiple style properties background color and color font color right which is to white now you see green and white color background right so this is first use case right so what is the first use case basic usage where you are setting the value right this is setting the value now let next use case is dynamic value from component right so what we will do now uh, we'll add one more div and we'll say ng style equal to then here again curly brace again background color now instead of providing a value right I'm passing a variable and I'm passing a var variable I'll call it style prop let's say and then close the div this is dynamic color div right so see now what I'm doing I'm setting background color and giving a property it will give error because we have not defined it yet right this one so let's go ahead in the app component put that equal to some value right so now I'm saying put the background color and this is a variable don't put it in quotes this is yet another mistake okay do not put quotes for the variables it will become strings okay all right so now let's save it and go back now you see this is purple color which is coming from the dynamic value right purple color this is coming from dynamically right now let me show you the third implementation Right. the third use case that you would use is in mostly in like say conditional operators right ng style with with conditional operators right let me show you that now so for example um, let's put one more um, let's call it um, txt color equal to um, I am not able to choose better colors but I'm sure you guys can do uh, justice with better colors so I want to see your creativity all right so now 
um, now I'm saying ng style equal to again double quotes start with curly brace I'm saying color question mark now see I'm going to write a conditional operator here so here I'm going to say text color is equal to equal to right what is the color we want blue if it's blue then if it's blue then put the color to blue else make it uh, come on guys we can do better right uh, in colors okay for now lack of uh, better colors I'm just putting it this for your understanding this is conditional div so take a look at the condition again now I'm saying ng style set the color property of this div if text color is blue set it blue else set it green now let's see that in action so now you see here below this is blue color right or for I don't want to delete this but for temporary I'm just deleting it so that you guys can see it better okay I'll put it back so that I can share this code with you later all right so now you see this is blue color right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go to component and I'm going to change it to red so now it has become green right now it has become green because the value is no more blue right so this is um, like these are the multiple ways that you can use uh, ng styles and trust me I have worked on enough angular applications to tell you these are the real-time use cases that you would use in any project okay um, so this is all is there about ng style right so I will request you go ahead practice I'm here to help you do let me know if you have any issues I'll be more than happy to help you if you like my work if you like my tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining I will see you in the next class and we will cover about ng class thank you so much see you next time